BRC20 tokens have been absolutely popping off, providing over 4,000x gainers in some cases. So we're gonna cover some of the top projects that I'm looking at in the terms of BRC20 world, and we'll be talking a little bit about Bitcoin ordinals. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right in. All right, first up, we have the BTC machine. This is a project, one of the OGs on the ordinal space here. You can see one of the first 100% original ordinal collection, 777 machines inscribed on BTC. Now this, again, one of the OG projects, and they have absolutely been pumping out some madness, all right? If you join their Discord, I, and if you're not in there, I suggest you do, because look at this, it says here, um, our stealth launch with OrdKit was an epic success. Tens of thousands of people submitted their wallet to be whitelisted and to be able to instantly mint on their platform. We only made available 700, or 777,000 Zbit. The rest will also be stealth minted. Stay tuned in our Discord will happen at any time, literally. So you have to be on your toes with some of this because they initially launched over here an Ordinals bot and Ordinals bot literally couldn't take the request and it basically crashed their website. So they actually had to move to another platform called OrdKit. So OrdKit, it shows here that they had a thousand allocated and it looks like over 1400 were minted. So there was an absolute mad rush for this token. So we'll be taking a little bit about talking about the overall market caps of some of these top coins, including Ordi, which is one of kind of the uh, OG tokens that was listed here in BRC20 world. And if you're in case you haven't really got up to speed on what BRC20 tokens are, I suggest you take a look at my past stream that I just basically dropped yesterday, or at least as it's being recorded, you definitely want to take a look. So Pepe, of course, this is another one talking about memes. Obviously, meme culture is big. This one was actually deployed supposedly before the actually ERC20 Pepe. Now, this isn't like the OGest of Pepe's of them all. Um, I've actually did a interview with the actual OG founders of the OG Pepe from 2016. But this one, nonetheless, it's a BRC20 Pepe. Um, and then you have Oshi. They're trying to be basically the first kind of Uniswap, if you will, type of you know swap here on BRC20s. There's a lot of other competing platforms right now that are also launching, like Alex, for example. And of course, you have Wizard. Wizard is the OG Taproot community uh, from this space as well. And of course, you have Shint. This is kind of a YouTuber uh, heading this one up. They're kind of launching their own software, some utilities around that. I find some of these very interesting. Domo as well. He's another OG. And Zbit, of course, right here. Look at these market caps, 6 million market cap, which is very low. We saw some of these other meme coins, for example, like Pepe and the ERC20 world on Ethereum go to a billion dollar market cap. So you look over here on this market, you see a lot of low micro cap token coins, which could spell out a major major opportunity for you to get in very early on some of these actual real legitimate projects that are actually building for the future of not only BRC20s, but ordinals and launching their own ordinals, kind of like the NFT version of uh, on Bitcoin. It, it goes deeper than that, right? Because they're actually inscribed on Bitcoin, the basically mother blockchain of them all, which is why this is pretty significant in my opinion. You're still technically early watching this video as well. We've been covering it a lot on Twitter, retweeting, sharing, talking about it on DJ and Dad's podcast from time to time as well. So if you've been following and staying up to date, uh, you definitely know what's up. So you definitely, if you're just now learning about it, you definitely want to get on track to learn more and kind of mess around on some of these platforms. This is Ordinal's wallet. I do like their UI. Uh, Unisat is another big one that I'm going to pull up right here, which is another major marketplace that allows you to inscribe, do a number of things on there, trade some of these BRC20 tokens as well. Uh, right here. They've actually partnered up with, uh, I believe, Wobi and OKX to basically build uh, upon BRC20s and indexers and things like that um, and just make it a better scalable process in the meantime. So let's take a look at this. You can see some of these different uh, ordinals here down below, recent inscriptions. You can actually download their Unisat wallet that allows you to earn points on their platform. So if you use their wallet, you get these accrued points and um, maybe that could allude to you know a future drop because they rewarded their OGs with passes that are already going for like 0.3 Bitcoin 
which as this time as it's being recorded is worth $8,000, which is pretty significant. And of course, again, you can look at some of the more finer details on Unisat, like how much of the supply, how much was minted out, and how much they uh, limit per mint in the original days when this was being launched. You can see the deploy time. So it's very detailed and well thought out in terms of how you can look up some of this. You can even sort by holders, transactions. So if you're trying to take a look at some of these upcoming tokens and in progress, you can click in progress tab right there in the middle and take a look at some of these upcoming projects. Now, some of these, you can see some of these are just emojis. Literally some of the most degen things you can see are on BRC20. Um, and a lot of these tokens won't do anything. The interesting thing is that the developers can't really rug, right? The community can take over these tokens. Once these are deployed, they're out there in the wild and you can't undeploy them, so to speak. So there can you can kind of soft rug a project here in terms of developers can do that, but the community can take that project over. So it's something a little bit different that you don't see on ERC-20. ERC-20, they can revoke a contract and do all kinds of crazy shenanigans or a nefarious contract and everything like that. So I do like how this is like a differentiate itself from ERC-20 world and how that uh, makes it different. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got on this video. Again, the massive demand on this token Zbit. Um, if you actually look into their, their project a little bit more, it reminds me of what could be a potential Yuga type scenario. They got like these vibes. They even have like a mini game, I believe on here on their website. You can take a look at the ecosystem. Um, again, a little bit more about their storyline. You can even play their game that's in Unity. So this is a, a game that they built um, right here it, within their website. You can create an account. You can see BTC Wars and everything like that. Um, so it has like these like very early vibes, obviously that pixelated vibe that we've seen on Ethereum, but this hits different. This is on Bitcoin. This is a massive, you know, kind of milestone. We're watching history be made. Um, we can even take a look over here at, um, you know, basically Leonidas is, he posted up a video of Michael Saylor. We can see here talking Every about Bitcoin ordinals. So let's go ahead and turn up the volume on this. An application that's cool on Bitcoin, right? Like all the ordinals and inscriptions and whatever, they're driving up transaction fees. It's Catalyst. So Michael Saylor is on board with ordinals, okay? And that's not only it. There's other investors and well-known and respected people in the uh, in the Bitcoin space here. Mark Yusko, uh, Yusko here, founder, CEO, C or C CIO of Morgan Creek Capital. Um, you've seen him in videos. You probably recognize him. He's been in on a lot of different YouTube channels, one of the more prominent figures in the Bitcoin community as well. This is an ordinal right here, one of the OG like projects uh, in terms of uh, blockchain monkeys and things like that. So again, lots of stuff going on um, or on chain monkey right here. You can see here. OCM and everything like that. So there's a lot to discover, but there's very hyped up projects right now that have solid potential futures. If you do a little bit of your own research and look into some of these coins, again, some of these are a lot of just meme coins that you definitely want to stay away from, but uh, there's not really these, you know, basically websites that have more information about each project. So you can see here, this doesn't have a lot of information about what this is. Um, so don't throw your money down the drain. You definitely want to research these tokens that could have future potential and things like that. So again, that's all I got for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe that opened your mind a little bit about the direction and future of where this could go and kind of that network effect. And again, like Michael Saylor said, that basically catalyst around Bitcoin itself. So we could see this pop off. We're seeing, you know, even today as it's being recorded, meme coins are popping off on Ethereum land and there's a lot of meme coins here. So there could be some kind of plays out on the table. But again, I'm more looking at the long-term projects that are building real things like that as well in the future. So, but anyways, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, turn on the notifications so you don't miss more alpha like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.